Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Imagination Mega Park. Now the park is coming together nicely, and we have built something in most of the areas. In this episode, uh, I want to uh, continue working on this underwater section here, the subsea sand. Now for this episode, I have three goals. First, uh, I want to build a new ride in this area. I think we can uh, make a nice uh, gentle ride here. What I'm planning to do is to build a car ride and use one of the vehicles from the expansions to make it look like the guests are riding on sea slugs. And I may even make a section where the track pops out and uh, travels around on the beach over here. I think that would be cool. Um, the second goal is uh, yeah, to make a station for this ride over here, the balloon ride. I have something really cool in mind. And some of you have already guessed it in the comments. And I also want to have a place here where the guests can uh, eat and drink something. And I think uh, uh, yeah, the best thing uh, to give the guests here uh, as food is uh, seafood. And in this game, of course, we have a seafood stall, which you can see over here. Now, before I start, um, I want to name some handymen. So uh, here we have the list of handymen. And I will name an another two handymen after commenters on my videos. So yeah, I keep those comments coming in my videos. Uh, I read all of them and uh, I'll try to reply uh, to as many of them as I can. All right, Bram Jacobs and the Shack uh, are now both Handyman in my park, thank you for all the comments and keep them coming. If you also want to be featured uh, in the park as a handyman, um, yeah, be sure to uh, make some uh, funny or nice uh, comments. Alright, now it's time for me to start working on the sea slug ride. Okay, you can now see the new ride here. I called it Sea Slug Safari. And yeah, here you can already see the station for the ride. Quite a simple construction. Uh, I decided to decorate it with some of these uh, fishes from one of the expansions. Uh, it's a recolorable version of this uh, wall. I think it looks pretty nice here. Already did a little bit of decoration, but there's still lots to do here. Um, so yeah, just want to make some ruins over here. And something which I think will also be really fun is to have some sea animals uh, swim around here. And for that, um, I plan on maybe letting some turtles swim around here. And we could probably also do something with uh, uh, one of these uh, eels that came in uh, one of the expansions. I believe it's called the conger eel. And yeah, we can probably uh, make it twist uh, along the track uh, at several points. I think that would be really cool. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, continue working on that. And while doing that, I think I can also add a food and drink stall uh, here somewhere.
of a road. Here you can now see the car right where the sea slug safari as I have uh, decorated it. As you can see lots of uh, foliage again in the same uh, color, same bright colors. So uh, uh, especially the purple, the yellow and the pink stand out in the ruins and this uh, blue color. Also put some rocks here. Um, also wanted to have some, uh, yeah, something to really draw the eye or something to implicate some danger. So uh, here we have several of these whirlpools along the track. I think this is a pretty good way of actually using these uh, water spots. Now, and of course, uh, the main eye catcher here is this eel, which uh, sometimes uh, pops out of its uh, little cave over here. And then uh, yeah, it, it slowly uh, twists over the this uh, car ride track. Yeah, I, I think the, especially the eel uh, worked out uh, pretty well here. Now I wanted to put some more emphasis on that this is actually supposed to look like it's underwater. So there's actually also a boat uh, above the people riding this uh, attraction. I think that looks uh, pretty cool. Now um, I also added a little uh, building here for the guests. This is called Paul's Tentacles. And up here you can see Paul the Octopus. Now it's actually called Alien. <laughs> uh, but that's just because I copied uh, an octopus from over here. Maybe I'll put a new uh, octopus over here, but uh, for now it's just called Alien. And guests uh, can sit over here on one of these uh, benches here. And I also included a toilet over here in the building. Okay, there's just one thing remaining for me to do in this episode. And that's that I wanted to add a lighthouse over here, uh, which this ride will pass through. And it will be, uh, I think, a really nice uh, eye catcher for this area. Right, the lighthouse is now completed. I must say, I absolutely love this thing. <laughs> yeah, I did a little bit of recoloring after I stopped the recording, but uh, I uh, think this bright color of red is uh, definitely better for the lighthouse. Uh, I also, uh, I'm also happy I made this change here at the top. So first uh, I had the dark glass from the North American set uh, that you cannot see through this one. But uh, I think I like it better with the yellow glass than having one of these observation tower cabins go ar around behind it. Kind of like it's, uh, it's a light that's rotating around here. I think this uh, looks really cool. Um, I, I uh, also think this is a great way to uh, decorate the station for this air balloon ride. And it's definitely a good eye catcher over here for this underwater area. Now I'm um, over here just did a little bit of rock work around this uh, uh, 
island, which has the lighthouse. Uh, also, again, put some of these uh, glass panes around it just to once again uh, give the illusion uh, that the, the part over here is actually underwater. Now, um, I also put two patrons here on the top of the lighthouse. Or actually, I put two entertainers here, I should say. And I will now name them after two more of my patrons. All right, Batfink and Hego95 BTS. Uh, thanks a lot for supporting me on Patreon. And uh, I think you got some uh, of the best spots in the park, actually. This is probably one of the first spots where people will actually look when they open the park. Anyway, hope you enjoy your spots. And uh, once again, thanks a lot for supporting me. Um, yeah, it uh, really gives me the, mot the motivation to keep making these uh, videos. Now, if you also want to support me on Patreon, you can find the link in the video description. Anyway, um, yeah, that was going to be it for this video. Um, in the next video, um, I will start working on uh, this area over here, the final area of the park. And then when that's done, I will do another loop through the park and, and so on. But yeah, excited to get start work to uh, start working on the next area. I think it will be really fun. But yeah, um, that will be the last we see of this underwater section for a while. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like. It will really help out my channel. And I'll see you again in the next video. See you later. <laughs>